Hi, Dave Welch with Automation Devices, and we thought we'd take the time to go over what we kind of consider a complete system. And what you can see that we have here is what we would deem a complete system. But let's go around and talk about each one of the components and how they relate and maybe what you might need if you were contacting us to buy something. But starting from what you can see right here, this is the hot. This is the device that's going to hold all of your parts. It's what's going to hold these parts in storage and deliver them to the feeder bowl. The bowl itself right here, its main purpose, of course, is to orient the part. If you're looking for storage, it's going to have to come from the hopper. Now, at this point, the bowl has to get the parts from the hopper so that the very next thing that it's required is that we're going to get parts from this level control switch. The level control switch is going to send a signal indicating that the bowl is low and it's going to trigger that the hopper needs to deliver more parts into it. Okay? Now, as we're going around here, you can see that at this point, we have what we call an inline track. So as the parts are exiting the feeder bowl, they're going to go into this track, and they're going to fill the track up completely. At the very end, we have what we call an escapement. This escapement here shuttles back and forth so that maybe your robotic arm has a chance to pick the part out, or maybe it's going to slide into some other component that you would finish. But you can see it slides back and forth to remove the part out of the line of progress. As these parts are building up in this track, what we have right here is a set of sensors that's looking for those parts to fill up. As soon as they reach the back part of this sensor, it's going to tell the bolt to shut off. That's what we call our back pressure control system. So it's a couple of sensors. It's simply detecting when this is full. When it's full, it's going to shut the bolt off. The benefit, of course, is that the bowl doesn't have to run as much, there's less wear and tear on the bowl, and it's certainly going to reduce the overall noise that your shop would have to listen to if this were to run continuously. Once those parts are being consumed then by your machine or an operator, as this track starts to empty out and this sensor is no longer blocked, then therefore the parts will continue and it's going to turn the bowl on looking for more parts. Continuing on down, we've got everything put on a very heavy duty table. The, what we consider heavy duty table is going to be at least a one inch thick tabletop on all welded construction tubular legs. And we don't recommend aluminum, there's different reasons for that, so if you give us a call, we can explain all that to you. But what we've done here is we've mounted everything to a heavy duty table, and that way this could be complete, this could be considered a complete system for you. Uh, of course, all the controls are going to be on here to run each of these components. This is a triple controller. So this part of the controller may control the hopper, this one may control the feeder bowl, and this part of it may control the little one. And then many of the systems require air. Here's where we would attach our air, and then any of the devices on here that may need air is going to be sourced right from here. And that basically would be a relatively complete system from automation devices. We can do anything custom for you, certainly give us a call, and we'll see what we can do for you. So thanks for watching.